ามไปที่ท่านนายกด้วยนะครับ Last week, the House of Representatives passed in its first reading the budget bill for the 2024 fiscal year after three days of debate. It was approved by 311 to 177 votes, with four abstentions. Of the 3.48 trillion baht in the 2024 budget, 606 billion is allocated to the central fund. The top five ministries in terms of budget allocation are the Interior Ministry, followed by the ministries of Education, Finance, Defense, and Transport. This fiscal year, the Education Ministry will be allocated 328 billion baht. In fact, the Education Ministry has been receiving one of the highest budget allocations during the past decade. The actual amount has, however, been decreasing over the years. Nonetheless, the quality of education in Thailand has not improved. One reflection of this are the PISA assessment scores among Thai students. Their scores in reading, mathematics, and science have reached a new low in more than two decades. This also includes English proficiency in Thailand being among the lowest in the world, as well as the learning loss among underprivileged Thai children. Many opposition MPs have been pointing out the flaws in Thai education, including how the budget allocation for the education ministry is being used the wrong way. Move Forward Party MP p a r i t w a t a r a s i n mentioned three crises in Thai education. Firstly, Thai students are not able to compete with other students around the world, according to the recent PISA assessment scores, which are the lowest in 20 years, and they are way below the average of students in OECD countries. Secondly, Thai children do not have equal access to quality education, and lastly, Thai children are unhappy and feel unsafe at school. Adding that 30% of Thai children have to skip a meal once a week because they don't have enough money to buy their lunch. p a r e d also noticed that the budget is mostly spent on teachers and other educational personnel, but hardly anything is spent on policies to improve the Thai education system or infrastructure. p a r e d also mentioned, citing studies from Thailand's leading think tank, the TDRI, that 40% of the workload of teachers has nothing to do with actually teaching. p a r e d also urged the government to revise the Thai school curriculum, which has not been updated for more than 20 years, considering that most developed countries such as Finland, Singapore, Japan, and South Korea update their curricula every five or ten years. Another move for party MP w i r o l a k a n a d i s o n feels that the education ministry has not done enough to ease the burden on small schools in rural areas across Thailand, while noting that the birth rate in the country is decreasing. He explained that small schools never receive enough money from the ministry, and not having enough teachers already makes it difficult to ensure quality education in such schools. At the same time, the merger of small schools has not been successful, indicating that the education ministry does not seem to place importance on this. The newly appointed education minister, Police General p e m p u n c h i c h o p appears to be aware of the problem and announced ways to improve Thai education during the budget bill debate. One of them is to reduce the workload of teachers and education personnel and introduce hybrid teaching methods. The education minister also vowed to increase equal access to education by using new technology and online platforms, which will help those living in rural areas and those who are underprivileged. 